Well, hello, friends. Today we are going to do a little libHTML thing uh, because I realized that when I'm browsing the help here, which I love, by the way, I just uh, wrote a man page about Pledge yesterday, um, and I'm running with the dark theme at the moment, and you can see that these links look kind of awkward because um, the libHTML widgets, they all respect the theme now, which is really cool, but they don't, uh, it doesn't update the links. So that's something that we need to do because it looks fine here in the default theme, but if we go dark, eh. So let's figure something out for that. Um, now, the way that we draw the links normally is based on the CSS. So we have the A link style here, um, which has already has a special color, like HTML link, which we can then look for. Let's see, the CSS parser, when it encounters this specific string, it will create a vendor specific link um, value ID. So we can look for that. And we find that it is used here in the uh, where we turn an identifier style value into a color for a specific document and this is actually why when you want to resolve resolve a color in live html and you have to provide a document it's so that we can ask the document for its link color and what this does is that it allows you to override the document link color by using the body link attribute so if we look in link color it's actually set up the um, set link color, which is then called by the body element if we encounter a link attribute. But what we're going to do here, I think, we're going to say that if you don't have a link attribute, uh, then document color will be, so the default is blue. I'm thinking maybe the default instead of just defaulting to blue, we should have this be themable. And then we will um, ask the system theme for this. Yeah, so we'll save an optional here instead. And then um, if, it's, if the optional has a value, that means that the document has overridden it. Optional. be nice. So we you have blue, red, and magenta. All right. And then I think we'll put these out of line. So link color, active link color, and visited link color in document class. Oops. Active link color and visited. No, what the frick was it called? Active link color. Oh, these are not const. Well, they should be const. Did I just make them not const by accident? I guess I did. Yeah, they were const before. Okay. So here, if Emily color has a value, we'll return that. Otherwise, we should ask the system theme. So, see if we can get a if we have frame. If we don't have a frame, we'll just say color blue. But if we do have a frame, um, we go to the HTML view. Or wait, no. How the frick do we do this? We can go to the HTML view and ask for the palette. This will be a bit gross, but it will be okay right now. Yeah, because we get past the palette here. But if we don't, mm, I don't love this factoring, but we're gonna we're gonna survive it right now. So we'll do that, and we'll ask for the link color. Maybe just the link, actually. 
because the palette class has all the different colors. So we can just add a few more here. Color roll link, active link, and visited link. Okay, and then we just need to, wait, where are all the color rolls defined? Here. Link, active, link, and visited link. Okay. There we go. So now we should be parsing these out from the theme files. So I'll go ahead and edit the theme. Uh, res themes dark. We'll just add some colors here. What's a good link color when it's dark? I don't know, maybe something less uh, extremely blue. Mm. It will help the blue bring it out a little bit, like um, take this up to 60 and go with more like a 60, 60 DD, something like that. I don't know. Active link. Can do that, that one in red. Oops. Um, and for visited, let's just do this one in purple. So I don't know how that's going to turn out, but we can, we can see. Oh, we have to rebuild everything actually. So many changes. So this will be how we do for that case. And then we have the active link, which should be this case. And for visited. Active. Oh, and we should probably. Magenta. So, come on, hurry up and build. Um, touching the theming code, like adding stuff to the themes causes a fair amount of rebuilding because all of the GUI code uses it nowadays. But I think this will be a nice improvement because I love that you can browse the um, man pages and everything, but I want to look at them in the dark mode and not feel like, like these links just look so crappy. <laughs> so, um, wait, why are you so slow? Parallelize yourself. Dang it. Da, 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 da. Man, I, I've been thinking so much about Pledge in the last two days. I feel like my brain is just full of pledge. So it's good to be <laughs> working on something different for a bit. Um, although I'm very happy with how pledge is coming along in the system. And I was very happy this morning because I got a bunch of pledge patches. Adding pledge to various programs. So that was really sweet. All right, come on now. I have to say I'm pretty grateful to the um, this CTF people that included Serenity in the competition thing because it really got me going on such interesting things. All right, let's take a look. Mm, I feel like this is not the color that I asked for. So it's still stupid blue. Why is it still stupid blue? Um,
I guess we'll have to do some debugging here. So m link color has value. And so Wait, so now this looks right in the wrong way. Okay, wait, there we are. So it does, it was just not properly rebuilt. Um, wow, that's a little bit awkward, but very cool. Okay, so some of these don't have a lot of links in them. The pledge does, because I was a good boy and I was putting links. So probably this color was not perfect. But it's certainly a bit better. We can we can do even better now. I think we need to up the um, up the intensity a little bit here, and maybe reduce the. Maybe we can do them this one. Okay important things being done right now. Um, oh, and this is so noisy. Uh, okay, let's switch to dark. That's really nice. All right. Look at that hover effect. How cool is hover? <laughs> I love hover. Um, oh. So that's awesome. We should commit this. We should also actually update um, the other themes. It's the lame part of um, modifying the themes is that you have to like any, anything new that you add you have to go and add it to all the existing themes but in this case we know that it was just using blue and red and magenta and then um, we can be lazy boys and just default them to these in the other ones and conrad's beautiful hot dog stand can also have the Standard ones, and then if someone wants to go and tweak those, that's they're perfectly welcome. Um, so what do we have? Just adding the themes, specializing it a little bit for the dark theme, and then link color. So this is where we extract it, and where do we call this? In so many different places. Yeah, so basically the reason that we ask document for it, I already answered that, but here, the reason that we have to check if we have a frame or not is um, because in the glorious future where libhtml is scriptable, um, then there is such a thing as a, like a headless document, right? Like if you just instantiate a document using the DOM API, then that document is not visible anywhere, so it's not associated with any frame. And in, in those instances, if for whatever reason, the engine queries the link color inside a document that is not in any particular frame, so it's not visible, but we still wanna have some kind of fallback value um, for the color, um, basically. That's why I set it up this way, so. Uh, and I'm obviously like I'm I'm very like heavily influenced from spending so many years in WebKit, so I just have um, these kind of things. They they just 
seem natural to me, but I feel like it's probably good to explain why I'm doing it this way. So that's good. Let's add this lib draw. Or oh, this is one big batch actually. Lib draw plus lib HTML. Uh, make link colors themable. Add a link, active link, and visited link colors to the system theme definition. Um, and implement support for them in the HTML. Note that uh, body uh, link to, um, a link bar a link as takes precedence or the system colors. The CSS also takes precedence since uh, we only fetch the system color if um, for um, in case the CSS color is link uh, what do we call that CSS author CSS author style I think is the official name of CSS provided by the website um, cool so I think that's going to be it for today. I'm just uh, doing a little polish here. I wanted to do a short video. Not so intense, but I think this turned out pretty good. So it's important to do these little things. And I'm really, really grateful to all of the people who help out and do all kinds of patches lately polishing things up like this because there have been a lot of pull requests with polish and I love polish and I'm so happy that other people uh, enjoy polishing things because it just makes the whole system feel so much better and it just feels like the quality goes up you know um, so that's awesome so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video just a little uh, polish so I hope you saw something interesting here thank you very much for watching, for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.